Well, I, it could be done. It'd be a little bit of work, but yeah, it could be done. And you'd want your lathe at a low speed. You see, I don't know if you noticed, but I was even slowing this down. But I, I keep a little slack on the belt, too. Have you ever done spiraling on a bowl? No. Because you'd, have to, you'd have to really push it against it. Right, yeah. right. But you can do this... You know, this mark on the side a little bit. Yeah, and that's another thing. Like, if you are working with a bowl, you've got to consider what size it is, how it's chucked. And, you know, if it was on a face plate, you can go to town. Like, if you're doing a segmented bowl, you're going to do the outside, and you're going to hog out the inside, you're going to finish everything from those two points and then turn it around. So I could do all that. You know, with a texturing tool on the outside. Mm -hmm. Robert Sorby, that Nick Agar, he's got a good video with he's pretty good with the bowls <laughs> and texturing. <clears throat> Get rid of this one more time. Is it plugged in still? Yeah. You must have burned the ball box. There you go. Oh, <laughs> I touched the head of that. like those vases that I have over there you know when I did the face of them and everything I had coves going in that way and I would get my texturing tool in a cove you just got to be careful but you you can get these tools and coves and things like that it doesn't have to be flat necessarily so So I still got that saddle on there. Yeah, that'd be good. Now I'm gonna have to just get I'm gonna take, I'm gonna try a thousand. So here, like we were saying before, you can just come in and, and I'm off center with the tool. I'm not on center. I want to be on my side of center. But you can get these swirls. So this would be like a bottom of a bowl if you wanted. Yeah, <clears throat> or you could stay with it. So this wood isn't really hard enough with this tool. It's probably too big of a tool for this, a smaller tool, I'd probably get cleaner cuts. But just to give you an idea, or if you wanted a design, just do it lightly. But 
so these are wide circles. But again, numerous things. Now this too, also the texturing tool that I was talking about will give you an orange peel effect which is similar to knurling. It's just, you know, a lot of little holes in the wood. So I'm going to use that in a minute. This is the one you used before, right? I used this one with the bevel. Oh, okay. <coughs> I haven't used that yet. Where you use it now, or I, I can't remember actually, but I might have used it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just winging this here. You know? I'm trying. Now, what's the difference between these two tools? The bevels. Hold them side by side so we can. How do you want them side? Just hold, just hold them still. Jesus, Christmas. Can't find a second tool. See the bevel. Yeah. What point? Get a different bevel. Turn it sideways. So this one's flat. It's beveled on oh, both here, sides. Oh, I see it here now. You can see it. Right. All right. Put them real close together. You see it now? Yeah. This one, the far one towards you, is flat. Right. And the one that's a spiraling tool. This is a texturing tool. They call them texture and cutters. Okay. <laughs> the light went out. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm around 700. <laughs> he knows I'm here. And again, we'll just come in a little off center. One, two, three, four, five, with a little bit of pressure. Then we'll come flat. Then we'll go at two o'clock. And we'll straighten back up. And now we'll take the texturing tool Straight on, no turning or anything. You'll tear fibers. You could do it, but you'll see that your cuts aren't clean. And I just move it back and forth. There's probably plenty. Go back to the tool again. Just go straight on the edge. And again, you got a little flour, a little bit of that. There's the uh, onion peel, I call it. And then, you know, you could take beading tools too. I've done this and put beading tools, but I think. Uh, if you um, put borders around some of the texturing that you did, it just enhances it. And you can see if I'm saying the right thing. Oh, cool.
Yeah. But that's basically it. Do you ha have any questions? Tony, do you have a finished example of something that you've done previously? <coughs> Up there, yeah, on the table. Yeah. Thanks, Tone. Good. Thank you.